Chuck and Quincy near 60 for Hannibal and Pitts Hills under that sunshine with breezy conditions. Into tonight, nighttime lows are going to sit into the upper 20s to low 30s, and we're actually going to have a... Bill Gowdy checking in. Lucy Lou's on the chase. Back here is the water heater. And I, I keep this screen here because in the springtime I'll put that up to keep the wasp from building nests in there. Pilot light is on, I'm gonna shut it off. There's no gas to it. I installed this valve back here for easy draining. Not all water heaters have this. I installed this valve in here had to make a few modifications to make this work, but I made it so that it would be easier to drain. It's just a ball valve. Now I'm opening it up. Now you see what I'm doing? I'm opening the uh, relief valve to allow pressure to come in there, or allow airflow to come in there to allow the pressure to be be relieved it's under a vacuum so what that means is I'm going inside open up a hot water valve to drain that tank I think there's uh, six or seven gallons of water in there this is a standing pilot unit and uh, someday when I have to replace it I'm gonna replace it with a high efficiency uh, electronic ignition it doesn't use any LP You could hear the air. It's sucking back out that way. I'll go ahead and open these up too. Hear it. And you probably can't see that. That's a shower. That might help. Now you can see water heater draining. Okay, underneath this couch is where the furnace and the water tank are. And this is where I store my extra bottles of antifreeze. I'll turn and turn a light on here so you can understand what's going on. Yeah, it's kind of dirty and dusty and down in here. Well, down here's a valve. And that valve drains the main water tank. There's two water sources here, this tank and city water hookup or, or a pressurized water hookup, like a well. And uh, I got this, let's see if I can, this valve right here is open and this tank is empty now. This valve, there's a valve right here, can you see that valve right there? is for the antifreeze. This comes up, comes up to this hose, and that hose goes into one of these jugs. And I'll pump antifreeze down through that water pump that's back there. You can't see it. It's, well, maybe you can. It's right back here. Here's the water pump. Then this valve right here is what shuts that water pump off or on. Right now it's on. Yeah, now it's closed. Now I'm going to close it because that tank and there's no water coming in. So your camper might be a little bit different. Everyone has their own hookups or their own setups, but they're, they're going to be similar. Back here in the back closet at the bottom, 
you can see that's the water heater. And that is a valve coming out of the water heater and a valve going into the water heater. And I can shut these valves off and turn this valve on and that is a water heater bypass. So once that water heater is totally out of water, emptied, I'll be able to pump the pink stuff all the way through here without having to fill that water heater full of pink stuff. I'd be wasting a lot of pink stuff if I had to run eight gallons, I don't know, maybe six gallons of water through there, or six gallons of pink stuff through there. Yeah, it'd be a waste. This saves all that once that's empty. This water heater is a dual water heater. It works on 110, which I can turn on or off right there. And it also works on, uh, can you see that, LP gas. I always use it on LP gas. I don't use the electric because of the efficiency of it. But if I ran out of LP gas and needed hot water, I got the 110 right there I can use. The hot water tank is empty now. So what I'm going to do is I'll close this valve. I'll close this valve. That's the in and out of that water tank. I'll open this valve, the bypass valve. Water comes in, goes up, and goes out. Bypassing the water tank, saving that much pink stuff. Only two ways that I know of to uh, ensure you're winterizing your camper properly. And that'd be one way would be to put compressed air in and blow all the lines out and make absolutely sure there's no water in there. Or the other way is to pump the pink stuff in and fill the lines with minus 50 degree protection. And that's what I elect to do. It's, it's worked for me all these years, and that's what I'm going to continue to do. I think if I was an RV dealer and I had the means, I'd use that compressed air and blow it out and make sure that there's no water in there. This way, well, I, don't, I think a gallon of that, I buy it on sale for $2.99 or less. And, uh, yeah, it's cheap insurance. The main water tank is drained. There's no water in it. I went ahead and closed the valves so no bugs could get back up into there in the springtime. This valve, this upper valve, as you can see, this valve is closed right now. This is going to go to my pink, my jug of pink. So I'll tell you one thing I like to do first. I like I got this little funnel and I like to pour the pink stuff in that funnel and into that tube and prime the pump before I use it. I'll show you. Up here on the wall is where the control is for the pump. And that turns the pump on, turns the pump off. Now what I'll do, I have this line primed. I have that line primed with pink stuff. I'll open this valve and that'll go right into the pump. I'll turn the pump on. And now you can see it's pumping out of the jug. It's about to get pressure. And it shut off because I don't have any water faucets turned on right now. So now I come up here, turn this on. Until I get a good steady flow pink stuff. That's the hot water side I got turned on right now. And 
starting to turn pink now. There we go. And that should be pushing all the water out. I turn on the cold water and I got pink almost immediately. This pushing out the pink where it mixes and now it's all pink. I do the same thing for the back sink. All pink. Cold water side. All pink. I do the same thing for the toilet. Until the pink comes out. Good solid pink. There's pink already coming out. There's one last thing I like to do before I uh, end this process. I shut this and I open this and let pink stuff in this part of the line so there's no water builds up in that and that runs out to the water heater now I just have to worry about this right here so I open that line and then I open this bypass so now the water is coming up and going out and going out that pushing any water that would be left in here shut that back off Everything's everything's good to go till next spring. Then I open them back up. I use one whole gallon and part of the other gallon, and now my job is done. All there is to it. I'd like to tell you that it was bush time, but it's still pretty early. <laughs> I got a lot more things to do. Thanks for watching. I sure do appreciate it. Bill Gowdy out for now.